we have 8-bit color. So the basic two bits that we have, the 0 and the 1, are a binary. But the thing is, is that there's no way to just use those ones. We don't have enough information to really see the small little gradations or gradients of color in between. So what we end up doing is we don't just use the two bits, the zero and the one, we actually use two to the power of eight, thus giving us many more bits of value that's not just the black and white, but also the grayscale values that transition from black to white. So two to the power of eight equals 256 values, or in a better way of putting it, zero to 255, because we use zero as the start, not one. So if you've ever looked at RGB values or HSV values inside of Photoshop or any other type of you know, image editing format, the 0 to 255 value is the fact that we're using 8 bits of value with 2 bits, the 0 and the 1 kind of in, in particular. What these do is, is we can use different basic maths between these two values to create the small gradations of black, 25%, 50%, 75% gray, and then of course white. But this just gets us grayscale value. Essentially, no color, no nothing, just gray. How do we actually get color? Well, that's where RGB color comes in. With the 256 values, you know, we have, of course, the great range of grayscale. But to get color, we actually have to use three 8-bit color slots or channels as um, we would like to use as reference. These three different channels, the red, green, and blue channels, are all just grayscale values from 0 to 255. And when you hit 255 in any one of those channels, will define red in that channel, or green if it's in the green channel, or blue if it's in the blue channel. If we want to use kind of mixes of colors, say we want to use things like magenta, yellow, and cyan, we just need to mix two of those channels. Red and green make yellow, blue and red make magenta, and blue and green make cyan. Now, for those of you who are um, traditionally trained with color theory um, with basic paints in the real world, it's a little different because primary color is not red, green, blue, it's actually red, Y, blue. Because you can mix any of those colors together to get the other tertiary colors, like red and yellow making orange, red and blue making violet, and green and yellow making, or sorry, not green and yellow, but yellow and blue making green. So it's a little different when we use digital color theory. So digital color theory revolves around red, green, and blue being the primary colors.